All right, we're getting ready to quickly shampoo a carpet here. It's a new carpet. The tenant didn't live here for their full term. Um, so it's uh, not too bad. There's a little bit of stains here by the door. It's not gonna be any big deal. We just finished a pre-vacuum with the uh, Sanitaire SC899. And the carpet was being lifted the whole time. So if there was anything in it, it got picked up. Because that, that vacuum, one thing it does, it lifts carpets up and it uh, pulls from underneath a little bit too, so. We're getting ready. We've already pre-sprayed the entire apartment. Here we go. Yeah, when your cord's two foot in the air, it's too short. Yeah. So there's only light soiling in this carpet. You can see it's picking up some, uh, some of that. Well, but it's not going to be a real bad one. We'll see how dark the we'll water is when we're done. It goes down to solo. That's, yeah. that's the proof in it. Yeah, it's not real bad.
finish that pass, but when I hear the pump rattling, I don't, I stop. If you hear your pump rattling in these machines and you keep going, you can blow out your pump. And this water is not exactly unclean. So these pipes definitely need a good cleaner. The vacuum it only does so much. We meet these people all the time that think their curls are clean because they vacuum them regularly. It's like, okay. But you miss stuff with the vacuum cleaner. You get a lot of stuff, you get about 90%, 95% of the stuff out of the vacuum, but you still miss. The best thing is you want to, to get off. some more water? No, I'll finish the living room because we, we're just going to shoot a video of the living room. Y'all don't want to see the whole When house. we fill these up, generally, we go beyond the top of the basket a little we, bit. We go so it's over the top. Yeah, the first two or three passes, you have to be careful you don't have real water running out. But the X3 has a lip around it. Yeah. The uh, older uh, Mighty Pros didn't have that lip, and so you couldn't overfill them. Next step's going to be the grandy groom, and I'll show you guys. Yeah, we'll do that last. Yeah, it's kind of dirty. Ours we like coming extractions, but the truth is, most people don't seem to get into it. So yeah, we and we're not going to we're not going to do the whole carpet right now. But if we thought more people want to see it, we'd probably do more filming of extractions. But but we're going to show that. Uh, I'll put a. Uh, I don't know if we'll show any of the raking, but we'll uh, put a clip in showing the final results when we're done. We're going to finish the apartment, and then we're going to rake it. And that should be it. It's a pretty new carpet, so it's not gonna. We're not gonna have to post vacuum or anything. Make sure you look for the video we just uh, made on the uh, SC899 if you want to see a powerful vacuum cleaner being used. We don't use it all the time because it's usually buried in a closet behind a bunch of stuff. And the Dyson that we generally uh, make our videos with is just a lot easier to. Grab and the truth is that vacuum is great, but it's so big. It, it's great in living room, but in, in bedrooms it's kind of tight. So yeah. we use the Dyson because it's more maneuverable. But if you watch that video, you see how fast we do uh, the whole apartment compared to how long it takes for the Dyson. It's quite a bit faster. It doesn't do edges 100%. Um, we did it on this carpet because these edges are all pretty clean because the lady that lived here was a good housekeeper and she kept her carpets nice. So we're... Uh, we won't really usually trot that thing out except on special occasions. Anyway, we're going to continue cleaning. I may show a clip here and there, I may not, but I'll show you the final results. So stay tuned. show you something too. You see up here at the front edge of the machine there's a gap where it doesn't actually have the brush hit it. You always want to make sure and make a pass. You gotta go sideways though. Just along the wall going that way because if you don't you'll leave an unsightly gap. This and water, when it dries it sometimes This shows. water isn't nearly as dirty as the living room. Yeah so that bedroom probably. Someone, the living rooms are usually a lot dirtier. Someone day maybe will probably use the bedroom otherwise it'd be dirty too. But it's got some dirt in it. And I know there's a dog up here because I've, I've seen a dog in my throat there. But he's got to make the pat. He's got to finish 
Yeah, the passage going this direction, then he's got to do that, and then that room's done, and I'll rake it. So, yeah. but that way you get to see kind of what's going on. See if he gets enough water to fill it completely full this time. Maybe enough to finish the apartment. These will generally run for anywhere from if you fill them up good, they'll run seven or eight straight minutes of constant movement. So it takes. That's how long you can operate. Yep. Our machine's kind of dirty, but you get the point. They actually give you, you know, seven or eight minutes, you can clean a lot of carpet. Yeah. You know, because you're just doing one pass, generally, and that's just real dirty. So, in seven or eight minutes, you can go a long ways on a carpet. Well, one, thing, one thing I'll mention, because it just occurred to me, don't go super, super slow with the machine because the carpet's dirty. Because you're putting down way too much water. We've watched videos of people saying that they leave their carpet swept with these, and they're going like an inch. A, you know, they're going yeah. like an inch every three or four seconds. Like, of course. There's and a there's a steady flow to how much water it puts down when the button's pressed. The way you control how much gets into a certain area of carpet is the speed you run the machine. Our, our so. carpets all dry in four or five hours on a, on a on a cold winter day. Yeah. And in the summertime, they'll dry in three hours. It's just so if your carpets are taking too long to dry, there's one other thing you may have done wrong, and it's not you. It's just a it can happen. The switch here, carpet tool, if you switch it to tool, it's going to shoot a There's lot of no water vacuum. down. But it's just not, the brushes aren't going to activate and it's, well, it'll but vacuum through the through the thing, but it just makes you put down most, too much water. Most people who are doing it, where they're leaving water behind and are doing it right, they're just going way too slow. And you don't need to make eight or ten passes over the carpet. And you'll see, he's 6'3". Yeah, it's not a problem. See? And if you see the handle, he does not have the handle all the way up. No, it goes up to here. Yeah. If you because put it up to here, though, and you pull back, it'll, it'll lift yeah, the front the of the front machine. the front end comes up a lot. It'll mess up your back. So what you do is you set it so you have now, constant now pressure the on the front. Being, the front is being forced into the carpet. It's yeah. vacuuming better. If you set it too low, you'll start lifting the wheels off the ground. But so. I'm, I'm 6'3 and about 290, and uh, this machine's comfortable for me, and I'm a big guy. Yeah. So they're not they're not difficult. They're not heavy either. They work great. He's got to practice. All right, stay tuned and we'll show you final results. All right, we finished the last room. We're going to show you it's pretty if, clean too. if there was anything in the water. No, it's pretty clear. Now, y'all don't know because the camera's off, but this took about 35 minutes to do this whole place, so that's how fast you can extract the carpet with a rug doctor. And this is real dirty, then you got to put more stuff into it. But basically, not too bad at all. Don't you can clean a two bedroom apartment in about a little over half an hour. If you do it properly, one good pass, that's all they work. Okay, I'll show you. One of the bedrooms is raked. Now we may come up tomorrow, maybe, and show an after video when it's fully dry. A lot of the streaking and stuff you see, that's just because the carpets are still damp and it disappears as they dry. And these are thick carpets, so they show the stripes and everything a little bit worse than most carpets do. And uh, we're, we're gonna, gonna we're, we're gonna re rake the living room because we're gonna have to walk all over it before we yeah, finish. We'll rake it and make a quick video of it. Yeah, I'll get this bedroom knocked out with the rake and then we'll show a raking video. So stay tuned for that. All right, I raked this bedroom. Always leave your closet doors open so they can dry after cleaning. It looks pretty decent. And like I said, any darker things or streaks, it's just because the carpets aren't fully dry. Like this one. This door won't stay open, so. And I don't want to run off and leave the ceiling fans going, so this one's going to take a little longer to dry because the airflow is going to be reduced. Because the door won't stay open. But we got to do the hallway and redo the living room. I had it perfect and it's all messed up now, so. Somebody walked all over. If you want to, I'll film it. If you want to film. You ready? Over you raking, you can start right there. Just do it nice and careful. You gotta push down hard. This carpet's kind of tricky because it's a real thick carpet. You people that like the Dyson make it a treat because this carpet fiber's kind of coming up. Yeah, because it's a brand new carpet, the cleaning process brought up a bunch of fibers, so we probably will post vacuum this tomorrow. We probably will. We'll probably just use the Dyson though. Yeah. I know uh, La La Sabri requested that we make a video using the uh, Big Sanitaire for a pre-vacuum and a post-vacuum, but uh, 
we'd like to do that. This is an upstairs unit, and it's got the steepest staircase on the property, so you know we uh, we don't like coming up here with anything we don't have to bring up. So. Well, plus we like to use one vacuum in for pre-vacuum and another one for post-vacuum. That way we know we hit it with two kinds of vacuums. Yeah, and also new carpets usually have a lot of the uh, carpet fibers along the uh, baseboards and stuff. From where they trimmed them and yeah, we fitted need them in. So we can edge better. And we're going to have to edge clean it with the uh, Dyson after it dries. So we're going to bring the Dyson to do this. We'll probably video it. And it's not that the sanitary didn't do a good job. It did, but there's carpet fibers that's kind of coming up because the carpet's new. Yeah, up. especially in the closets because it's hard to maneuver in there. And a, the wand will help to uh, get anything that you can't really get with a vacuum in a tight area. You like want that. to walk around the other direction of the kitchen. To yeah. Get the rest of it. Now he like he Jay rakes a lot lighter than I do. I push down real hard with the rakes, so it looks a little different I'm when he does. I'm pushing pretty good. But all you're really doing is standing the fibers up so that they can dry a little bit quicker. When it completely dries, it doesn't you know the rake marks and stuff kind of disappear. Yeah, when it when it dries, the carpet starts standing back up naturally. And also remember, we're going to post back this so we don't have to have it absolutely perfect. We'll show a video of this when it's bone dry, and it'll look it'll look pretty much like, it'll look perfect. When we post back, we also re rake. Yeah. So. That's our standard procedure. Keep the carpets right. Yeah, and when people walk into an apartment, they think about renting. If they see the carpets looking, they're going to look even better when they're fully dry, but when they see them all even and everything, it makes a difference. It helps. Now, if the maintenance guys come up here to do something and they leave footprints in the carpet, it'll make it stand out, but you can't, you know, there's only so much you can do. You can't help stuff like that. All right, we're going to. End up walking on the carpet at the front door on the way out, but that's okay. You can see okay. that this is the final result. We'll re rake the parts we step on. And we're going to come back tomorrow, make a post fact video, yeah, and yeah, rake yeah. again. So that's going to be a separate video. So anyway, you might watch for that. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please leave nice comments if you don't want to get blocked and banned. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if you got any questions, you know. We'll try to answer them as best we can. Otherwise, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. All right, it's the next day. We uh, cleaned this yesterday. And we're back up here. We're going to post vacuum because we used the big sanitaire. We want to make sure and go over the edges real good because it doesn't do edges real super great. And we're going to have to rake it when we get finished. But this is the next day after all the carpet has a chance to dry. It's not going to have the streaks and stuff in it. But when we get done vacuuming, it's going to help it a little bit more because it will fluff it up. Not really anything in there to see. Alright, so we're getting ready to post vacuum these carpets, so stay tuned for that. Oh, and the Dyson is emptied out all the way, so it's cleaned out and ready to go.